Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a different type of video for you guys. I have my natural hair, curly hair, kinky hair, whatever you call your texture. This is the video for you guys. I mean, let's be honest, sometimes natural hair or just hair in general, it doesn't really matter what texture you have, it can get a little bit difficult. Some days you just have those days where you just want to give up and you're like, forget it, I'll just go outside looking a hot mess. But I am here today to make your life a little bit easier. I hope there are some hacks that you have never seen or done before that you will find very useful. Enough talking, let's get right into the video. How many of you guys actually look forward to wash day? I know sometimes I really dread it and I do not look forward to it. That means I have to take some energy and clean my scalp, shampoo my hair, and deep condition and detangle. And some days I'm just not up for it. And there's also a possibility of messing up your fingernail polish because you're using your fingers in your scalp and I'm just not for that. So I have been using this scalp invigorator by Vanity Planet and I'm honestly in love. At first you guys, I just to be honest, I was hesitant about it because I'm like, I can use my fingers, my fingers are just fine. But after using this and seeing how clean my scalp was and how good it felt, I honestly don't think I can go back to using my fingers. And they were so kind to offer you guys 50% off, so I will leave a link down below. Go check it out because I am literally in love, to be honest. Okay, hack number two. So the next time you're in the shower and you use a regular conditioner, not a deep conditioner, make sure you leave some on your hair. Do not rinse all of it out because it will really define your curls and it will also act as a leave-in conditioner. And yes, this is okay to use on your hair. It will not damage your hair. It's okay to keep it in there. Hack number three, I know that I am a busy person and sometimes I do not have 45 minutes to deep condition my hair, but I definitely still need to deep condition. So I take a towel and I run it under hot, hot water and I still apply it over my plastic cap and then I'm going to secure it with a hair tie and I'm going to leave it on for about 10 minutes. When you take it off, you will still have really conditioned hair in just a shorter amount of time. For hack number four, I know about 99% of us have this problem. We cannot find our bobby pins anywhere. I promise you I bought millions of them and I don't know where half of them are. So an easy way to store them is to take a Tic Tac container and of course get rid of the Tic Tacs or eat them. And then you're gonna take off the label and you're gonna apply or you're gonna put your bobby pins in this container. And then that way when you need them, they're easy to find. You can put it in your purse, put it in your vanity, wherever you need them, you have them. Okay, so for hack number five, I know, like I said before, I do not really look forward to wash day. So sometimes I wanna get an extra day or two out of it, but my scalp is really itchy, it's really dirty, and it really needs to be cleaned just a little bit. So what I'm gonna take is a little bottle and I'm gonna fill it with three parts water and one part apple cider vinegar. And what the apple cider vinegar is going to do, it's going to really clean my scalp in the meantime so that I can stretch it a day or two. And then I'm going to put some of that on a cotton round and I'm just going to take the parts in my scalp where I really feel like it's dirty and it needs the extra attention and I'm going to rub it until it's clean. And this is just temporary until you wash your hair. Or hack number six. So sometimes we need to give them edges a break and get rid of the brush. So today I'm gonna show you how I make my bun without using a brush. You're just gonna take some water and you're going to dampen your hair a little bit. And then you're gonna take your favorite leave-in conditioner and apply it to your hair. Then you're gonna use your fingers as your brush. And you're gonna be very gentle when you do this. And you're gonna take your fingertips and use it as a comb. And then the inside of your hand and use it to smooth out any bun Bumps in your hair and then you're gonna form your bun and this bun did not turn out too perfect but this is not a bun tutorial I just want to show you how to lay them edges without a brush and so once you have your bun all together you're gonna take your favorite silk scarf and you're going to apply it to your hair and you're gonna leave it on your hair well you got to get on your hair 
first for about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. And then when you take off your scarf, you will notice that your hair is laid and you didn't need a brush to do it. Okay, for hack number seven. So if you noticed in the last clip, I had some white residue in my hair. And now I'm gonna show you a way to test it before you even put it in your hair. You're gonna take your leave-in and you're gonna apply it to your hand. Then you're gonna take your favorite gel and apply it to your hand as well and mix them together. If it forms this cottage cheese texture, then you cannot apply it to your hair because it will leave a white residue. If you try the same thing with another leave-in and your gel and it does not form a cottage cheese texture and you apply it to your hair and there's no right residue, then you're good to go and you can use this leave-in mixture. Okay guys, so those are all of my natural hair, curly hair, kinky hair hacks for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did find them helpful, definitely give this video a thumbs up and like the video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, please definitely let me know down below. So if there are any hacks that you know of that you just want to share with everybody so we can all be in on it, definitely go ahead and leave that down below. Comment down below. Let us know what, what you've been doing. What have you not already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button it'll simply just notify you when I upload a new video if you want to stay updated with me I am currently on snapchat and Instagram um, I don't really use Twitter that much but I do have a Twitter account and those are pretty much my most active social medias um, I'm really into snapchat now like really into it so I've been snapping a lot more of my everyday life so if you are interested in following me there I will definitely leave the links down below so you can find me there I will see you guys on my next video bye